Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, my name's Uriah. I'm the youth pastor at Mount Pleasant Church of God, and I'm also a part of the young adults group here at Glenvale. And I just want to share with you guys a quick message um, that God has laid on my heart. And basically, it's just about how I've um, been seeing him move in my own life within the past few months, and especially during uh, our everything that's going on now and how, how the virus has affected different things, how God has worked in me during that time also, um, and how he's been teaching me to acknowledge him more, not in only one area of my life, and not only in one part, but in every area and aspect of my life, trusting in him and acknowledging him. So the scripture I'm going to share with you guys today is from Proverbs 3, 5 to 6. Now, Proverbs 3, 5 to 6 says this. It says, trust in the Lord with all of your heart and don't lean on your own understanding, but acknowledge him in all of your ways and he will make your paths straight. Now, again, during this time and throughout the past, the past few months, I've been facing a lot of uncertainty and struggle in different situations of my life. One of them being uh, multiple times I've been in and out of the hospital because of different health issues or injuries. Um, another is recently, because of the whole virus and everything, I had lost a good job that I had and a new job that I was supposed to enter uh, into during the summer was then canceled. So my path, you know, the path that I thought was very clear to me at the time before all of this, you know, COVID-19 stuff went down, um, became blurred. And, and I began to worry and to attempt to trust in myself. And on top of that, I'd been dealing with other spiritual struggle within my life, and, which is now being resolved. And I'm working through that. But through all of this chaotic uh, circumstances that have been going on, uh, I began to, again, trust more in myself and forget to acknowledge God the way I should have been in my life, acknowledging him, recognizing him, and going to him, you know, despite my circumstances and the things I had been struggling with. And he spoke to me, you know, and, and reminded me how important it is to acknowledge God in every area of our life, despite what we're going through, despite what we're facing, no matter the issue. So let's go back to Proverbs 3, 5 to 6, and let's break it down a bit, right? So again, Proverbs 3, 5 to 6, it begins, trust in the Lord your God with all of your heart. It doesn't say trust in me with a little bit of your heart or trust in me here and there. He says, trust in me with all of your heart, wholeheartedly trust, which means we must submit to the Lord and submit to his ways, seeking him fully in order to trust in him. We have to lay down our understanding and seek him which leads into the next piece of that verse. It says, and don't lean on your own understanding, okay? So when things are going crazy, when life might seem hectic, when maybe you lose your job or the path that you thought was clear has now become foggy, um, we're still supposed to trust in him and we're supposed to not lean on our own understanding. We're supposed to place our understanding, our wisdom down, right? And we are supposed to pick up the wisdom and the understanding of God, even when it might seem confusing to us, even when it might seem unclear. God says, lay down your own understanding. Do not trust in yourself, because if we trust in our own understanding, in the wisdom of of this world, in the wisdom that we think we have, man, we're going to get lost. We're going to end up way down the road on the wrong track in who knows what, and we're going to be 
finding ourselves in more struggle than we would have if we would have been seeking God first. So we need to lay down our own understanding and wisdom and pick up the wisdom and understanding of God, submitting to that and seeking him. Continuing in this verse, again, it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Don't lean on your own understanding, but acknowledge him, which is God, in all of your ways. Acknowledge him in all of your ways. What does acknowledge mean? What does this word acknowledge mean? Well, acknowledge means to accept, admit, or recognize the existence or truth of something, right? So in order to acknowledge God in all of our ways, we need to accept him, admit that he is God, recognize his existence and that his words and he himself is truth, that he is true. We must acknowledge him in this way and in all of our ways. Acknowledge him in every area of our life. We shouldn't be placing our trust, our hope, and our future in money or our jobs or our plans or maybe the people around us. Instead, he says, acknowledge me. Not everything else, not the chaos that's going on, because that's what Satan wants us to do. He wants us to acknowledge all of the chaos and all of the crazy things that are going on in this world. And he wants us to get all caught up in that and all you know, lost in, the, in all of the chaos that's going on. But God says otherwise. He says, acknowledge me. Put aside that and acknowledge me. Even though those things are loud, if you seek me, my voice is louder. I will help you. I will guide you through this, okay? Acknowledge him. Accept him. Admit that he is God. Recognize his existence and that he is true and that his word is true, okay? And when we do that, he will make our paths straight. That is the end of the verse of Proverbs 3, 5 to 6. I will make your paths straight, it says, and he will make your paths straight, okay? So in order that we might be able to see the path that God has for us, in order for us to recognize what he has for our lives and be able to discern that at all, we must be trusting in him, We need to lay down our own wisdom and understanding, even when we might be tempted to trust in ourselves or something else. We need to lay that down, trust in God's wisdom and understanding, acknowledge him in everything we do, in our actions, in every aspect and area of life, in every single thing that we do. We need to recognize him and acknowledge him that he is God and he will make our paths street. And that is how he has spoken to me within the past few months and has really moved my heart. He has taught me to acknowledge him in every area, despite the situation, despite maybe chaos or whatever is happening. He says, acknowledge me in all of your ways and I will make your paths straight. Trust in me. And so what he has said to me now, I share with you, trust in God and acknowledge him in all of your ways.